Some Hawaiian electric customers are being asked to pay thousands of dollars more if they want to get on the grid. Why so much, and will this affect other ratepayers? Bridget Namada is finding facts. Bridget? Joe Hiko tells me these proposals won't affect all ratepayers, and that's the reason why some customers were given the option of paying up to $26,000 extra to get on the grid. The company is trying to clear the backlog from the net energy metering program. Is this allowed? I brought that up to the Public Utilities Commission. HECO tells me 370 letters were sent to customers still wanting a PV system under the old net metering program. We got a hold of two letters from January. One customer was asked to pay $8,000, another over $26,000 to get on the grid. Anger is the first emotion that comes up because a lot of these customers have been waiting for a long time, sometimes years, to get interconnected and approval on solar. Chris DeBone is a solar contractor who tells me some of his customers weren't pleased. Then they get a letter with this that there's additional fees and costs after waiting so long. So um, it's just kind of coming up to an emotional boil point. What, you know, what, why? I brought that question to the Public Utilities Commission. The PUC tells me it is aware of the letters HECO sent out to hundreds of customers and the proposed cost upgrades. Well, I am told HECO is allowed to ask for them because these particular customers have issues connecting to the system and the cost to upgrade is specific to each customer. I learned that customers still waiting to connect are found throughout Oahu, but mostly in areas already heavily saturated with PV, like Makaha or Kahala. The PUC tells me it encouraged HECO to offer options other than a bill to its customers, which HECO did. I spoke with HECO, which tells me the payment was a last resort to clear the queue of net energy metering customers. We're really presenting them with a cost of the actual work. We're not profiting off of this. We are basically asking the customer to pay their share um, for the upgrade. So we don't want other ratepayers to pay for them to benefit from their PV system. Examples of options HECO gave these customers were downsizing their PV systems, switching to HECO's newer self-supply program, or trying out a different pilot program. I'm told some customers had already spent money installing their PV systems and were just waiting to connect. Bridget Amata, KHON2 News.